Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Papa Meerkat, and we are back in Borderlands 2. And we are in the Marcus Saves Mercenary Day DLC, or Headhunter DLC. It's the only one I own. Like I stated in the last episode, if you guys want me to try to get the rest of them and play them, I can try to. I don't have a huge amount of money, though. Daft Falcon. Hmm, what do I have? Max ammo for shotgun. It's pretty high, 65.5%. I need a new uh, legendary class mod. Chill out. Man, I need to empty out my inventory. Look how full this is. This is all the stuff I'm keeping. Alright, let's go and do the uh, grab presents for smallish Tim. I don't know how many more quests there are. I think that's the only one. I'm not 100% sure about it, though. Bam! <laughs> Bam! Well, it's a bit loud in my ears. Turning it down a little bit. There we go. Now, I'm wondering if you guys would like to watch when I, uh, done with, uh, Vanilla Minecraft, do I play, uh, something else or do I go to modded Minecraft and somebody did comment to me recently saying that there was DLC that came out for Portal Knights so I might even try that and bring that back onto my channel so it's up to you guys you just have to let me know what you guys want me to to play Hey, smallest Tim. I might use this as my thumbnail. Switch guns so there's like a clear moment. <laughs> Alright, let's go grab these presents. Thanks. Just drop those off and I'll give you what few shillings I've got as a reward. Well, you're pretty buff for being a, uh, like a child. like you look like a psycho oh wait that's what they used a psycho skin mission success the kind-hearted folks at the hyperion corporation gave us these presents perhaps as an apology for all those nasty things mr. jack did did I have another one of these Stoic Plasma Caster, fire damage. This one is the other caster, but it's a uh, electricity or shock, if you will. Really gives you hope, doesn't it? Hyperion nearly ended the world, but now they're trying to make good on their mistakes with these presents. Nope. No, they're not. It's Hyperion. They don't never do anything good. <laughs> They're just all all around bad guy. Hey, there's the train. It could just open up the loot bay uh, uh, just right now without any, you know, without having to kill old Sir Tender Snowflake. Mission success. I wonder what's inside. They look like toy robots. Perhaps they will sing songs and dance for our entertainment. No. They won't. Where was that other one? I saw a third one. There he is. Radical. Radical. Radical, bro. So like the Ninja Turtles. Success. Oh dear! It appears Hyperion has not changed their tune after all. Could you destroy those present? 
I suppose I understand why they wanted us dead. Gingerton is full of ex labs, and Hyperion was never fond of anyone who followed Brick. <laughs> followed Brick. I believe I'm almost done with uh, Borderlands 2. What a truly sad day. If only the robots would have befriended us. Oh, the fun times we would have had. Yep, if you say so, kid. If you say so. Not Hyperion. They send de uh, murder robots. That's what they're good at. If you say so. <laughs> Wonderful, Vault Hunter. Mercenary Day is saved. Return to me at your leisure. At your leisure. I'm gonna switch over because we're gonna kill the. Uh, after we're done with the, all the. The quests here, which there's not very many, of course. Is I'm gonna go and. Farm old Sir Tender and Snowflake several times in this video. Let's see what we get. In the next uh, episode, we're going to start the Commander Lilith and, and how she saved uh, Sanctuary. That's what it's called. Make deliveries for smaller than average Tim. You're like a BA Santa. Yeah, BA Huzzah! Santa. This has truly been the best mercenary day ever. Ever. Yes. All right. There we go. Let's go after Sir Tender. No snowflakes. That was it. That literally was everything in this DLC. It is quite small. I do believe the uh, other ones, like the Waddle Gobbler. Yeah, all the rest of them are pretty much bigger. Way bigger than this one. I can't remember. I know. I remember the Valentine's Day Massacre. I remember the Waddle Gobbler. The Halloween themed one, which kind of reminds me of the DLC in the first game, which is uh, the uh, Doctor Ned, the uh, Doctor uh, a Zombie Island of Doctor Ned. That's it. All right, I like how it always reverts back to 310 to Kaboom. It always reverts back to that mission, and everybody knows that's a time mission. And everybody that doesn't know, it's a time mission. <laughs> Alright, Star Tender Snowflake, let's battle it out. I want to see what kind of loot I can get. See if we can get at least one legendary in the course of this farming run. And it's a good idea, guys, if you want to, do not open any of these presents. You'll see them scattered around here. I should have said this yesterday, but do not open these not unless you want to, but why I would say that is that while in the course of fighting old Mr. S Snowman guy, is that these will give you ammo, so you could have some kind of ammo, not unless you have ammo regeneration, but if you don't have ammo regeneration with uh, the Gunzerker or whatnot, then uh, keep these presents here so you can use them for the course of the fight to refill your ammo. That's why they are here. But it's up to you guys if you want to open them early or not. Ding, 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 ding. Come on, dude. Come on out. It reminds me of those guys in Terraria during the uh, Frost Moon event. Oh, you look so happy. Ow. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't think this is a Teodor. No, it ain't. This is a normal caster. Wow, he's already dead. Ah. Wow, this gun just destroyed him. 
And yeah. What you gonna drop? Junk. What? You call me a dick? That's not that's not nice. Warm and toasty, psycho skin. RPG, huh? Sixteen thou. <laughs> Shit's exploded. Throws his little snowball and explodes. Now that's amazing. We hear another one. And of course, the uh, snowmen that keep spawning around the battlefield here, they give it a little bit of ammo as well. Well, that is neat. Look at this. How the shotgun? Oh, it's a sniper rifle. No, that's a shoddy. How did this stand up like this? <clears throat> it literally is standing up right on end. That is neat. Iridium metal. Well, that fire uh, fire rate is really fast on this one. That's cool. Dude. Calm down. See how accurate this is. <laughs> I still, I, I still like the shotgun. This is cool. It landed on in. I'm about to get a screenshot of that and actually save it. Use it. Switch guns so you always have a clear shot. That's why I always you see me switching, switching guns when I'm thinking of a good, uh, like, screenshot I can use for a thumbnail or something. This right, this gun right here destroyed the snowflake dude. <laughs> it's kind of satisfying shooting a snowman, okay? <laughs> I like how they explode. But if they, if there was blood involved, like if you shoot the snowman and all of a sudden you see blood splatter, then you would need to be concerned. That would be kind of weird. Just just slightly weird. What you gonna give me, man? Any legendaries this time? This will be the third time I've hunted them. So far, I don't see anything. Alright. I have the worst luck when it comes to legendaries. Let's see. Got a couple of blues here. Class mods or relics. The corrosive damage is 5,700. Protection relic. Another blue here. Synergistic Amplify Shield. It's not even worth that much. And of course, Iridium. Yeah, I didn't get much out of this run. Homing Grenade and 10 Soldier Commando. Let's use up my skins real quick before I fill up my inventory even more. Alright, so I got Snow Problem. Most Gunzerker. Psycho. Ten soldier, commando, runner skin, bam. All right, let's quit and just keep doing that for a few, a few tries before the end of the episode here, and hopefully get at least one legendary and something I haven't found yet. That would be cool. But yeah, this gun right here destroyed him, so he didn't even move from his original spawn location. Guns, I got them. Teeter low that. price. Sure. 17,000. Jeez. Of death. These plasma casters are kind of fun. I do like the sword explosion, but it's kind of hard to use. But fun. We got way too much junk. That's just it. Shotgun relic I was keeping. Shield capacity and shield recharge rate. That's kind of cool, too. Curse of damage, eh. Lightning bolt. Twenty-three now? I got one more. Oh, skin. <laughs> Duh. Yeah, I need to drop this stuff off badly. So in between episodes, I might just go and drop off a bunch of stuff I don't need. 
There's no point carrying around this much stuff. But there's uh, not a head. I think it's a skin, right? Ten soldier. There we go. I'll take it. Kind of like the colors. Oh, missed them all. Yeah, these Headhunter DLCs are quite small. This one's one of the smallest, but I think it has the best loot poten potential out of all of them because you get the train. That's why I bought this one years ago or whenever it came out. It's the only one I did buy. And here we go again. One, or uh, On Frozen Pond. That's what it's called, On Pro Frozen Pond. Very uh, original when it comes to naming of frozen ponds. See how far he launches me backwards. Not unless he launches me forward. Now that would be crazy, wouldn't it? <laughs> Heads up, that is. Really? Why wow, it just goes down so quick. My heart, my it is the first playthrough, so he's gonna be the easiest version. my hat now red nose pain deer <laughs> nice name there yeah I don't think he drops very much good loot at all dashing through your bones is that what he said dashing through your bones on a one dead horse sleigh That's my rendition of his song. It's not much to talk about. I don't even know what to talk about. And I hope they don't mess up Borderlands 3 though. I kind of did on Borderlands to our uh, pre-sequel. Some parts of it wasn't that great. Like unfarmable enemies. Yeah, or bosses. What's a Borderlands game without farmable, farmable bosses? Max health, vitality, relic. All green. Except there is a blue back there. It's only just relics that become blue. Oh, no, I didn't want that. Pistols aren't worth very much. Yeah, I'm getting shafted here when it comes to uh, drops here. These are pretty bad. Maybe because it is the first playthrough? Yeah. I'm thinking so. Game's like, ha, we're gonna give you the worst of the worst. I don't even know how much iridium I have. I need to go back to Sanctuary and upgrade some of my stuff, like carrying capacity and whatnot. Something I need to do. Stop by the shop, see what this skin is. Legs, stripe, v -haw. Sure. So like every time I go over, there's a new skin. Droog. 
Kind of reminds me of the name of uh, Star Star Control, Star Control Two. I think there's these dudes called Jeruge, and they like use humans for fuel, max health. Really, we're on 34, 36. Okay, and get rid of the other one. I still got that dang gun. Uh, let me get rid of it. Hey, I got one less gun now. I don't think any of those was the skins were soldier. And you only see two bully mong. Don't even know where they even go. They just run off the cliff or something. Because I see the BA Santa coming, walking through, and they have to go and jump off the cliff. <laughs> Gingerton. What a name. They didn't make more Christmas themed DLCs. I think this is the only one I know of. The Waddle Gobbler is about Thanksgiving. Because in America we have a holiday called Thanksgiving. And yes, I do remember the Waddle Gobbler. It's a giant turkey. It is the boss is a giant turkey. Ding ding ding. Kinda cut it off, didn't I? <laughs> oh just get your old frozen butt over here, man. Is he going to play golf or is he going to be bowling again? Which one is he going to do? Man, he's so easy. Now that's amazing. Now how much iridium do I have? I got 40. That's not even that much at all. Seven eleven race. Miss got five thousand bucks, yes. Sure. Five thousand bucks again, yeah, I'll take it. I use this stuff for selling only. Not unless he ever drops anything useful, which Pretty much every time he does it, so. So cold. So you're a snowman. What are you talking about? Man, this plasma caster is not too bad. Especially against old snowflake there. He goes down very quickly. We'll get, we're gonna get a legendary finally. Something. Doesn't look like it. I don't even know what legendaries this thing can even drop. What's the chances of? Alright, so we got a blue here. Class mod. And another blue. Amplify shield. And that's pretty much it. Always check your relics, you don't know what you're gonna get. Mom always told me that life is like a a relic. You never know what you're gonna get. <laughs> Forest gumprint gumprint uh, gumprints. <laughs> I don't I am speaking the gibberish. <laughs> Forest Gumpridge.
Ten saves ya. I was shaking my leg and uh, the arm of the chair was hitting the, the leg or the the desk and was making a weird noise. Gun, gun, gun. Oh, no skin that time. Neat. Oh, this might be pretty good. I can't keep every gun though, sadly. If only I could. I hope they expand the uh, the uh, inventory slots when it comes to the uh, third game. I think that'd be cool. We need extra inventory slots. Wow. Remember, we're always open. Let's see what other grenades we have here. Any other fire based? Firestorm, that's what I'm using. Or uh, it was what I was using. Hmm. I think I'm back to magic missile. Yep. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> oh, I did hit something. Nice. Got 26 EXP for it. Yay. It's tough being green. It's my best uh, Kermit uh, impression. Or, yeah. Impression? Yeah. I was like, say, expression? That doesn't make any sense. I feel like I'm not fully awake. <clears throat> I think I went in this shop one time one of these two and it was like a legendary class mod for Macromancer Oop. hit that escape too many times we I'll probably get uh, hunt him down maybe two more times and then I'll probably end the episode. It doesn't take long to get over here, but nobody wants to watch this for like an hour. Or maybe there's some people out there that do. We'll see. Well, you do have to wait for this. Him waking up, jump, come out, run. <laughs> Knock me back every time. Oh, you can't hit him. Oh, he did. He did more this time. Nice changing there. Wonderland. Six thousand bucks for ow, man. Well, I guess that's a uh, plus. You get other people's skins too. When you get other people's skins, you don't have to get them with the other people, or other characters. Or RPG terms. Classes. <laughs> we are we are playing a RPG. The Polar Express. Or Piss Off Express. Was that my best Tom Hanks impression? I don't know, maybe. Wow, dude. The loot is so amazing. Absorb shield. 
I don't even see the chance of absorb. It's not going to be that high though. The best one you can get is from uh, the bunker boss fight. Only thirty-three percent. Yeah. Exit, come back. Exit and go back. Exit and go back. Yeah. Oh man, felt like a pain in my shoulder. Maybe it's uh, that day I was just, me and my wife was installing those two air conditioner units. Those were heavy. They weighed as much as a small refrigerator each, and they're small units. But dang, they were heavy. Citrine. Don't even know if I'm even saying that correctly. Citrine. I don't even know why I carry this B. Let's make a beeline right for the snowman. And throw a grenade. See if it hits anything. Go for it, grenades. Take him out. Got him. Two EXP. Maybe I was wrong about the first time that grenade the first hit grenade hit the other one. Maybe it was only 2 EXP, I just saw it at a glance, so it looked like 26. That would be nice if it was 26. No, I'm just overpowered, that's all. Nice tree, it's very shiny. Look at those uh, god rays, or whatever you call them, those light rays. Each snowflake has its own light ray. <laughs> I haven't gotten one legendary yet. This is very sad. I up talked the the uh, the loot, and here we got nothing. Get nothing at all. I think the best loot came from the random chests in town. Like I keep getting these casters. his hat or knock his hat off he is a uh, portion of his health will respawn and you got to fight him again if I remember correctly fight for your lifetime a lot of relics this time and another head. The snowman keeps giving me head. <laughs> wow. That was a very bad joke. Or pun, if you will. I don't even know. It was awful either way. <laughs> the snowmen are just very, very uh, pleasing to shoot at. <laughs> Satisfying. I'm not saying I'm violent or anything. <laughs> Come on, at least one legendary before I end the episode. That would be nice. And I don't see any legendaries. Yeah, I think you get better chances of leg legendaries and better, you know, what do you call it, playthroughs? Playthrough 2, well, Ultimate Volt Hunter Mode, and 
true volt hunter mode. Because this is just blip. Blip, blip, blip. But it is only the first playthrough, so. I'm gonna get the worst loot. The worst loot. Health and region. <clears throat> 1443. What's this other one? Huh. It's better than this one. I think it's blue. Yeah, it is blue. But it did, the blue one has two skills. This one has one or uh, one skill. Pressure point or pressure skill and last stitch effort, and this one just has uh, grit. I'd rather keep the extra skills. Okay, we're gonna hunt him one more time, and now I'll probably end the episode. That's a roughly about 40 minutes. Yeah, it's kind of lame because I am in the first playthrough, it's not going to be the best loot. But I do remember the loot is pretty good when you go into the second and third playthrough. You can because he's more a higher level and because higher level always equates to more loot or better chances of loot all right yep mm-hmm yes oh slag damage does that give you better chance of slag because slag doesn't actually cause damage but slag will allow you to do more damage to the enemy I'm wondering does that give you better chance at slag or does it give you more damage when you slag something I don't know I'm going to look that up do it to you nothing but I'm always happy to take your money of course you are Marcus of course you are and grenade away <laughs> give me my 2 EXP man do it Got it. One. Oh, I got gypped. I seriously just got gypped. I was getting two, now only getting one. Or just hit the wrong bully mode. Did that kind of rhyme there for a moment? The singing psycho. Nice church. I guess that's a church. Yep. We already know that, Said. You are not a real doctor. Never been, never will be. Those snowflakes, hell, have rays coming off of them. Bing, 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 bleh. <laughs> I'm gonna go way over here to see if he can knock me back from way over here. Further, further away. Because when I stand over there, I still fly a little bit. Nope. No, I might be too late. Too far away. Got him. I've heard him say that so many times now. Well, hello there, loot. Social con projectile convergence. Hey. What did you say? Oh. We got one to not stand on in, but it's standing up. Forever to be a puddle, bro. Forever to be a puddle. Well, 
I doubt I'm gonna get anything on this run, but hey, we did our farming run. A very lame farming run. But yeah, if you guys wanna farm him on the first run, you can. But it's way better if you do the uh, second or third playthrough. You get so much better loot. This is what they need to do in the third game. Every boss needs to be farmable. And every boss should be able to drop legendaries. For sure. Or have a loot pool instead of just one legendary. Maybe. Alright. Uh, tactician class mod. Wow. Oh, I got a purple. Wow. Rugged top Nia. Oh, it's a top Nia. I might actually keep that one. Everything else is like bleh. Barfage. <laughs> Ultimate barfage. Yeah, yeah, why not? Now we got that top Nia though. I think it's a good uh, rocket launcher. Let's put it in shotgun slot. Is it a fast fire? can't really tell if that's it's not extremely fast but it looks like it's usable I like that little screen down there it's like I'm watching a let's play of Borderlands 2 playing Borderlands and watching a Borderlands all right guys well I think I'm gonna end it here we did get something out of it we got a top knee out of it at least we did get something pretty neat fire base it'll be good against old sir tender snowflake there and uh like i said earlier i'm going to go off camera and probably empty out my inventory because there's all kinds of new loot i heard that was in the new dlc and i want room to be able to carry all that new loot i might even farm some uh iridium off camera so i can make sure to fill it or finish up most of my uh Upgrades for ammo capacity and uh, storage. But yeah, there you go. That was a uh, How Market Saves Mercenary Day DLC. Very short. Short but sweet. Alright guys, well, uh, if you enjoyed the content or the video, consider hitting that subscribe button and joining up. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. I'm running out of time on my... Um, 12 months oh I, hey that doesn't mean i'm not going to be able to upload after the 12 months is up but i like to try to make something for it you know did i say for it i would like to be able to make some kind of money back for doing what i'm doing here because it does it is a bit of work to do all this plus it's more work when you're a father and you got you're married and you got other responsibilities trying to do all these uh videos my time is not, uh, I don't have a lot of it. Pretty much what I'm saying. And I'm still managing to upload mostly every day. I have missed a few. But yeah. So yeah, consider subscribing, helping me out, guys. You know, more subscribers, more likes, and all that stuff. Definitely helps me out. And if you like the card, my commentary, me talking here. If you uh, like that, make sure to hit that like button to show your support. It helps me out. I usually say, if you like my commentary, you find it helpful, funny, or entertaining. But I had to change it up once in a while. And uh, you'll next time subscribe button, you'll see a bell icon. You hit that bell icon, then you become part of the Meerkat Nation notification squad. And when that happens, you get notifications for everything I upload. So you don't miss any of these awesome adventures. Oh, yes. Top Nia is good. You see that, that wave that comes off of it? There's a legend, legendary rocket launcher in the game that does that too. But it has, it has a wider range. I know I'm at the end of my episode here, but if you see that wave that comes off of the enemies, that actually, uh, there's another, I can't remember what it's called, there's another one you get for uh, killing, um, I still can't remember the name of it. <laughs> it's a Varkid, a very special Varkid that has a small chance of spawning. 
and it's an invincible boss. But he has a chance of dropping a rocket launcher that has that same blue wave that, uh, that hits on the enemies. And those, that wave will kill enemies at a certain distance or damage them. And uh, the legendary one has a, lot, a wider range of that, that sphere that appears around each enemy. It means that it, it'll travel further. It's kind of hard to explain. Like if I hit that tree and there's a whole bunch of enemies around it. All these enemies will get that blue sphere around them and get damaged or, or killed. This one has the same function, but it's smaller range. Like the legendary one will do a big range, while the this one does a small range. If that makes any sense. Alright guys, well... I guess, uh... Enjoy your adventures in your own gamings. Gaming adventures. Have fun, hope you enjoyed the video. And... I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.